this video we are installing Windows 10 inside a Windows 11 computer. So I'm on Windows 11 and I'm installing Windows 10 in a virtual machine and it works really well. You can go full screen. It has a really good resolution and also it works well with the internet connection and you can do everything just like a normal Windows. So we'll show you how to install it with a new version of the virtual box because too many people requested me how to run it with the latest version of the virtual box. First, go to this website, link is in the description and you have to download Windows 10 installation tool. Just click on download now. This is going to download a tool. After it's finished, go to your downloads and just double click and open media creation tool. Here, first you have to accept license term, accept. Here, make sure to check the second option, create installation media, USB flash, DVD or ISO file. This is what we need, an ISO file. Next, here you can uncheck this option and you can choose your own language and, and also architecture 64 bit or 32 bit. If you have a good, powerful computer, you can go with 64 bit. Next, make sure to choose ISO file. Next, here choose the location where you want to save it in downloads for example and save now it is, has started to download it will take some times but we'll skip this process now you have to download VirtualBox software go to this website and choose the windows host if you are a windows computer or mac os if you have a mac but keep in mind that this is not going to work for arm architectures like m1 or m2 or apple chip macbooks but it only works for the intel hosts if you're interested in installing windows in uh, apple chip you can just go and follow one of, one of my videos here on my youtube channel so i'll click windows host then it will download you just have to click on execution file but i will not do it because it's very easy just go through steps next next and install it after installation open virtual box this is a program very easy to use click on new put a name whatever you want windows 10 here choose the location where you want to save the virtual machine you need at least about maybe about 10 gigabytes for this virtual machine so choose a place where you think that you have enough memory i'll choose one of my drives here on iso image may click on other and choose the iso image that we just just downloaded and now as you can see it automatically detected that it, we are installing windows 10 with a 64-bit architecture but this is called attended installation It's going to automatically install the windows for you without needing to clear the memory to clear the storage create the partitions and everything else but i'm going to skip this i'll click skip unattended installation because i want to do this myself because sometimes it messes up and it doesn't install properly so i'm going to click on next here choose the base memory or ram I recommend you to choose as much as you can but don't go in the red line because it will struggle and stress your computer and the processors too I will choose five core of the processors and I'll click next 50 gigabytes are really good also 30 will work next finish then go to the settings and go to system acceleration and here make sure to choose hyper v because this is for the intel chips it works really well okay also in the display make sure it's 128 and all other options are okay so we can just click on okay and we can start now the installation will start very soon okay now the setup has started choose your language time zone and also your keyboard input next and click on install now Okay, now I'll show you that you need a product key. If you have one, you can install and activate Windows with a product key, but I don't currently have one, so I'll click on I don't have a product key. Then choose the edition that you want to install, Windows Home, Windows 10 Home will work well, but I'll go with Windows 10 Pro. Next, accept the license term. Next, and now it shows you upgrade, install Windows files, key file settings and applications or custom install. Windows Advance only. You have to choose custom install. And here is our drive that we have 50 gigabytes. You select this one and click on next. And now it will start to copy files to run the installation, install features and everything. Okay, now the virtual machine has restarted and is going to run the second phase of the installation. Okay, now you have to choose your language. And here choose your keyboard for me it's us skip so set up for personal use and here you have to click on offline account and click on limited experience and put a name for your windows next and a password again and also a security question i'm going to put just random ones because it's not very important here click on not now accept and here you can skip not now and now the windows will start Okay, so here we have Windows 10 and everything works well and we have start menu and everything else. But we can see we have a problem with the resolution and also full screen. We cannot go full screen. So as much as I go here, it will not open full screen. So what I can do, I can install the virtual box tools. And to do that, you can just go to devices, insert guest edition CD image, and then just go to file explorer and click on this PC. And here we have CD drive and then just open it. 
and you can go ahead and choose this one VBox Windows Editions. So just right click and run as administrator. Yes, next, next, install. And now it'll show you reboot now, finish because we have to restart so we can have the changes. Okay, now that is restarted, we can go to the view and enter full screen switch. And as you can see, we have a full screen Windows 10 installed inside our Windows 11 computer. You can also access network and do anything just like a normal Windows. So as you can see, we have Windows 10 inside a Windows 11 and everything works well. Okay, guys, this was the video for today. I hope you'll like it. Smash the like button if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and see you in the next one. Peace.